Welcome everyone to the Simpson College Coaches Show. I'm Zach Jevney. Thanks for watching. Today I'm joined by head football coach Jim Goglowski. Coach Glow, it's great to have you. How, yeah. are you. how are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Good. Now you're off to a bit of a slow start in the conference here, but what are some of the positives that you can build on going into the last half of the season? Well, I think the biggest positive is our kids' attitude and effort has been tremendous. Uh, they're playing extremely hard. Uh, unfortunately, things haven't always gone our way on Saturday afternoons, but I think, uh, you know, got to keep plugging away, keep going back to work, and try to get better and see what happens next. Now, um, you've got a few freshmen in your skill positions, quarterback Taylor Nelson, running back Michael Chia, and wide receiver Brad Vogel. How has their development gone so far in the Iowa Conference? They've done a nice job. I think all those guys have made big plays at one time or another. Uh, certainly, it's a process, and they're learning on the run a little bit. But uh, I've been pleased with their attitude and effort. They've done a nice job so far. Now, last week you played Central at Central. Now, what do you take away from playing a nationally ranked, tough Division Three school like Central? Well, I'll tell you, this is the third time we've played them. And uh, right now we've won one and lost two since I've been here. And I think every time you play a team like Central, you see a well-coached football team that does a nice job as far as getting their kids in position to be successful. And um, I can honestly say that after the game, I didn't feel like physically um, that we were uh, outmanned. I thought that maybe there were some windows of opportunities we had to take advantage of some opportunities that we didn't. And against a good football team, if you don't take advantage of those opportunities, you know, ultimately you only have so many of those in the course mm -hmm. of the game. And, and we had our opportunities early on. We didn't make the most of them and found ourselves kind of fighting from behind the rest of the day. How are you able to take more advantage of opportunities, not just in the central game, in all games that you've played, you know, just to make sure you capitalize on those? Well, I think it, it starts off with the coaches. We've got to do a great job of figuring out what things are going to be available, what is it that we do within our, our, our package, our scheme, and making sure that uh, we put ourselves in a position so our kids understand when those opportunities are there. This is how the ball has to be thrown. This is where the tackler needs to be positioned, or, you know, this is what we're trying to get accomplished. So uh, it just takes time getting on the same page, and once those kids get a better sense of what the things that we're looking for, I think they'll have a lot more opportunities to be successful. What are some of the things that you're looking for to maybe get the offense going a little bit more to what you, you know, want it to do? Well, I think consistency in the run game is the biggest thing, you know, uh, making sure that uh, when we lock onto a block that we stay on it and we don't let guys spin out and stuff like that, making sure that we're hitting the right holes in the run game, making sure that, uh, you know, we're, make, that we're, we're taking advantage of what the defense has given us. Um, if they're going to roll up and play man coverage, then we've got to be able to take some shots downfield, stuff like that. And I think ultimately it just becomes a matter of being able to consistently execute what we're asking them to do. Now, this coming Saturday, you're going to be taking on Dubuque, in Dubuque. Um, they're coming off a 14-6 loss to Loris, a team you beat earlier in the year. Um, how are you guys preparing for Dubuque, a team who likes to throw, to throw the ball a little bit? What are, you, what are you guys doing to prepare for them? Well, I think the biggest thing is, and like I've told the kids several times, is that uh, when you go back out to work on, on Tuesday or, or you know, after the game's over on Saturday, it's about staying the course with the same process, making sure that uh, – you know, whether you win or lose, I still think you have to go back out and get better on Tuesday. And so that mentality uh, certainly won't change. I think the other thing is we've got to make sure we do a great job of, of taking care of their run game. They do a nice job running the football. And so, again, it's the same situation as you always find yourself in. You know, you're trying to run the ball well, try to shore up the run game so they can slow them down a little bit so they can't get into second and third and short situations, make them put the ball in the air, and then hopefully get after the quarterback. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, the Storm will play, like I said, Dubuque Saturday at 4 o'clock in Dubuque, and we'll return home October 23rd to take on Co. at 1 o'clock. Um, Coach Glow, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Simpson College Coaches Show.